there will never be a point in your time in your life where it's the right time to do a great thing if you're waiting for that perfect perfect moment that perfect timing it's not going to happen you know what you have to do you have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation is that a lot of people become comfortable they stop growing they stop wanting anything they, they become satisfied people getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like jobs that are making them sick you see when you're not pursuing your goal you are literally committing spiritual suicide when you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for that takes you out of your comfort zone you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have when the messenger of misery visits you what are you going to do what will keep you in the game there are things that you think you'll never need to know that you may only need to know one time in your life but that could save your life because you had that knowledge unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered you will never grow what is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it that you talk yourself out of it you're waiting on your next door neighbor to make it happen for you it may not happen if you're waiting on your mother or your father they may be so ancient in their thinking that they don't understand this opportunity that you have and if you're waiting on them it may never get done you don't beg average people to be phenomenal you don't beg good people to be phenomenal you just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal what reason can you remember that you can call on that you can reach on that can make you get back up find that reason if you're not where you are, if you're not where you want to be, if you don't have what you want, want to have, if you're not where you think you should be at this particular place, it has nothing to do with the system, but it has everything to do with the fact that you're not making the sacrifice. I want you to make that dream become a reality because if you don't, you will be working for somebody else to make their dreams become a reality. Everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more. And let me tell you something, that's a lonely feeling. It's a lonely feeling, particularly people that you're doing it for. Most people take their greatness, take their ideas to the graveyard with them. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. There are people right now who are working who don't want to work. There are people who hate their jobs, but they keep getting up to do it. The wealthiest place on the planet is the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, we will find inventions that we never, ever were exposed to. Ideas, dreams that never became reality. Hopes and aspirations that were never acted upon. The question is, what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? And greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day. Workout after workout, obedience after obedience, day after day. When things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong? You will never ever be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. I, I challenge you to push yourself. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. I mean that what you did last week don't count. Today, today is the only important day. There are 86,400 seconds in a day, and how you use those are critical. You got 86,400 today, and what you do today is going to see me who you are. Nobody's going to talk about what you did last week. That the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. You 
have this opportunity of a lifetime. It means absolutely nothing if you don't take advantage of it in the lifetime of this opportunity. I got a saying that when life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. What's up guys? Um, last night I did a um, posing update. Um, it was my six weeks, my sixth week of reverse dieting. Um, slash lean bulking but um I just woke up literally 10 minutes ago um man I'm fucking tired I slept about 11 hours um, I think my body needed it but um this video guys um I'm going to do an update so last night I did a posing update on my physique my sixth week of reverse dieting slash lean bulking um I'm at 78 kilograms, so pretty much I've been maintaining my weight for six weeks. That's what you want to try to do when you're, when you're reverse dieting. Slowly increase your calories and carbs and fats while maintaining your weight. But the thing is, I'm on a new routine now, a legs push pull off repeat split. Well, on my off days, I'm actually hitting my abs. So I'm pretty much in the gym every day. <laughs> um, this this routine is more optimal if you're a natural bodybuilder. You're gonna make more gains doing it this way than hitting your muscles once a week. I've been hitting my muscles once a week for eight years. So I'm finally, finally on this, I'm finally doing my muscles twice a week. So I'm going to make more gains. I've, I've been doing it for one week and it's going pretty good so far. Um, so my macros right now, is 225 protein, 300 grams of carbs, and 60 grams of fat. Um, gives me around just under 2,700 calories. Um, and my goal is right now is to lean bulk, not reverse diet. Because since I'm on this new routine, I've, I've got to make sure I'm in a calorie surplus so I can actually gain muscle. There was no point of me reverse dieting if I'm going to be in this new, um, hitting my muscles twice a week. I might, I might as well take advantage of it and be in the actually calorie surplus so I'm actually gaining weight slowly on this new routine. If I'm not, what is the point? I'm pretty much just wasting my gains because my muscles are fresh to this new routine, right? Which means I'm actually going to grow on this new routine. I should grow more on this new routine. But if I'm reverse dieting, maintaining my weight, how am I going to grow, guys? So, so my my goal were my goals were to reverse diet to maintain my weight for six months, build up my metabolic rate, right? Build up my metabolic capacity. But um, if I do that. I'm not taking advantage of this new routine. So on this new routine, guys, I've actually got to make sure I'm in the calorie surplus, so I'm actually gaining weight. Not a stupid fucking calorie surplus, like a thousand calories. Because I've been training for eight years, so I cannot build a kilogram um, a week of muscle. It's not happening. Um, I can't even build a kilogram of muscle a month probably 500 grams of muscle a month I can build. All right, probably six kilograms of muscle in a year, if everything goes good. So um, what I'm trying to say is guys, have one goal. If your goal is to reverse diet to maintain your weight, do that. If your goal is to build muscle, chase that goal, all right? Don't chase two birds at once you won't get them all, you won't catch them all, okay? So, so that's why I'm going to be in the calorie surplus. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm eating more food now because my goal isn't to maintain my weight anymore. It was, but what's the point, to, if, what's the point maintain my weight if I'm going to be in, um, if I'm going to hit my muscle twice a week? So, so my goal is to build muscle, all right? So, Build as much muscle as I can in 18 months, and then I'm going to diet down 
to that 4% body fat and do a natural bodybuilding competition in 2016. So I'll give you a quick update on my physique in the morning. I just woke up, no breakfast, nothing. So um, I'm going to make a update in two weeks showing my lower body because um, I didn't get anyone to record for me last night. So in two weeks from now, I'm going to do another update, a lean bulk update, week eight in two weeks. So guys, make sure you like this video. I'm sorry if I seem like I'm not, not talking much. I just woke up literally and I'm still waking up. I'm still tired. So, so that's about it guys. Um, so if you want to build muscle, right, which is my goal right now, you've got to be in the current surface. If you're not maintaining your weight by building muscle, right, to build muscle, you've got to be in a calorie surplus. And that means your weight will go up. Right? If you're maintaining your if you're maintaining your weight, it's pretty much impossible to build muscle while doing that because to build muscle, when you put on muscle, you're going to put on weight. So that's why I'm not going to reverse diet and maintain my weight anymore. Since I'm on this new routine, legs push, pull off, repeat, split, I've got to make sure I'm in a calorie surplus so I can actually build muscle. So if I'm just um, reverse dieting and maintaining my weight on this new routine I'm, just, I'm pretty much wasting my gains right? I could have built like how does that make sense guys um, so if, if you want to build muscle be in the calorie surplus that's about it I'm, I'm repeating myself so I hope you guys like this video and please subscribe